Hello and welcome back to Skyships and to the epic Airbus Marathon. Not just Airbus, but specifically the A300 family. As you know, Europeans improved it to the model A310, but they did not stop on it. You may ask, can't they just leave this plane alone? Don't they have anything else? They do. Airbus played around with narrow-body aircrafts and, yes, returned to their favorite project to make it ideal. Today we have the A330. So what is this thing exactly? Airbus A330 is a long-haul wide-body twin-engine airliner. Again, another successor of the same story. Oh, Airbus loved its first bird. Let's fly to the past. The story of this aircraft began when the A300 was completed. As you know, it had a lot of modifications. One of them, the A300B10 turned into the A310. Quite awesome aircraft. But that was not enough. The plane had even more modification projects. Airbus temporarily forgot about them during the A320 development. But the competition hadn't stopped. In the United States the brand new Boeing 767 was born. And for the Europeans that became a challenge. So about the modifications. The A300 had two more versions. B9 and B11. The first one had an extended fuselage and more powerful engines. The second had an extended fuselage too, but it was heavier, had increased range and four engines. These two projects were taken into work. The first one became the A330 and the second one A340. We'll talk about it next time. When the corporation announced those new projects, everyone was excited. Airbus had already become a large and respected manufacturer, and all of the suppliers fought for the right to work with it. The situation had changed since the old times, when a new company worked hard to find suppliers for their projects. The tenders for a new engine were attended by the General Electric with their CF6, Rolls-Royce with their Trent 700 engine, and of course Pratt Whitney with PW4168. Those engines had almost identical performance and delivered nearly 300 kN of thrust. In 1986 Airbus officially announced the new planes. Everyone heard the new indexes A330 and A340 for the first time. The aircrafts required serious investments into the production line's improvement. British Aerospace and Messerschmitt Bolk of Blom spent a lot of money on the modernization. France invested over 400 million dollars into a new production line in Toulouse. In 1992, the first completed A330 prototype, equipped with GE CF6 engines, was rolled out. At the end of the year it made its maiden flight. Until the invention of the first Boeing 777, the A330 was the largest twin-engine aircraft in the world. In January 1994, the A330 started regular flights in the park of Air Inter. The model's second operator was Thai Airways. Initially, the aircraft had two basic versions. The first created plane was the A330-300. The fuselage is almost the same as that of A300 and A310, but it is almost 64 meters long. It can accommodate the maximum of 440 passengers and take them on a distance over 11,750 kilometers. There were 690 planes of this version built until 2017, with a standard unit cost nearly 250 million dollars. The second plane, A330-200, appeared in 1998. This one was adapted for long-distance flights. Having a shortened fuselage, it can accommodate the maximum of 406 passengers, but it flies for 13,450 kilometers. The plane received an additional fuel tank, so when you fly on this cutie, don't smoke. You have 140 tons of fuel under your feet. Of course, they built a freighter, A330-200F. It can carry up to 70 tons of stuff you bought on Amazon and transport all of it on a distance of 7400 kilometers. In 2008, Boeing created a new Model 787 Dreamliner, which was better than everything before. Of course, the A330 had to be upgraded. The result of this work made its maiden flight in autumn 2017. You can find the video about A330 Neo jetliners on the channel. 
the A330-200 will be replaced by the A330-800neo. The plane will get the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines and many new features developed for A350, including the long sharklets. The airliner will fly in a range of 14,000 km and accommodate 406 passengers. Bigger A330-300 will be replaced by the A330-900neo. This one will get the same Trent 7000 engine and accommodate maximum 400 for the passengers. The range of a bigger jet will be reduced to 12,000 km. A330 also became a basis for the new MRTT plane, the upgraded version of A310 MRTT. These toys serve in the air forces of France, United Kingdom, Singapore, Saudi Arabia and of course United Arab Emirates. The Emirates have all the expensive toys. Airbus also tried to sell it to the United States, but Yankees have toys of their own. Airbus A330 is one of the best commercial airplanes in its class, and unlike the A300 and A310, it will not retire in the near future. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Fast flights and soft landings to you.